guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make your very own business cards at home. Business cards are a great way to easily and professionally exchange your contact information on the go. You never know who you might run into. Here are some business cards that I created. This design is simple yet pretty effective. I used Avery Clean Edge business card paper. If you have an inkjet printer, remember to check if the paper is inkjet compatible. The template I'm using is 88220. The cards are perforated on the sheet, so all you need to do is snap the cards out with a bit of bending. No cutting needed. Lastly, having a high quality printer will either make or break your designs. I recently purchased this Epson Workforce printer, and I must say it's amazing. The photo quality is true to how it looks on the computer, which is extremely important if you wish to have high quality results. To download the template for your Avery business cards, head on over to their website. Enter the template number. Look for the template that is compatible with Adobe Illustrator. Click download. The two software programs that I used are Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Open up all the photos you wish to put on the back of your business cards in Adobe Photoshop. When editing, I recommend duplicating the layer first before you make any changes so that you can see the difference and also allow you to keep the original photo if you don't like the changes you've made. When editing, it's in good practice to edit non-destructively. You can do this by using the adjustment layers panel normally found on the right hand side. The standard adjustments that I do include adjusting the color balance, brightness, contrast, saturation, and adjusting the curve levels. Wow, you can really see the difference the adjustment layers make. So now that you're done all of your photos, go to Image, Mode, CMYK Color. Do this to all of your photos so that they're ready for printing. Any photo you plan to print should be put in CMYK mode. Since the business cards are 2 by 3.5, we'll need to make sure that the photos will be similar to that aspect ratio. To do this, click on the crop tool and go into the preset menu. Select the 2 by 3 option and rotate it so it fits landscape wise. If everything looks good, then click the check mark. For photos that are on the portrait side, we'll do the same thing and decide what part of the photo we want to showcase. Hmm, this looks like a good part. Click the check mark and then save all of your photos. I recommend saving your photos as a TIFF file, not a JPEG. So now let's get started on the design. Open up the business card template in Illustrator. We're going to design the front of the cards first. I'm going to drag a ruler in the middle of the cards to help align the graphics. I place the logo type on the left of the business cards and my contact information on the right. Remember, this is the fun part because you can be as creative as you like. Get creative and fiddle around with what you want to have on the front of your cards. Be bold, minimalistic, and anything in between. I've created an alternative design that is super easy to make and it still looks amazing. The font I'm using is Arial. I also added a background color and I changed the font color to white. Notice that the background is slightly bigger than the guide this is to allow for a full bleed. I also added my main contact information at the bottom. See, look how easy it was to make. If you don't have Illustrator, Avery has templates that can be used in Microsoft Word. If you wish to have the same design on the front of the cards, just copy and paste until your finished template looks like this. Now let's start working on the back of the business cards. On the back, you can open up a new template file or make a new artboard and copy the guides onto the new artboard like I did. I suggest creating a new layer to keep your work organized. Also, make sure your document is set to CMYK mode. That way, any colors you choose are in CMYK, not RGB. Place all of the images you edited in Photoshop onto the artboard. At first when I place the images, they're huge, but if you zoom out, hold shift, and drag the corners, you're able to resize the photos while keeping its proportions. Repeat this for all of your photos, the order doesn't matter, it's all up to you.
Now we're done placing and fitting the photos, and as you can see, they're slightly larger than the guides to give room for a bleed. The last step to designing our business cards is to add a logo in the corner. All I did was select my name from the front business cards and I resized it a little smaller and I put it in the corner. I also changed its color to white. Add a drop shadow to the text if the background is too light. Ta-da! We finished designing our business cards. Now all we need to do is print. Before you print your cards, make sure to convert all your text to outlines for nice crisp text when printing. In Illustrator, go to File, then Print. Go into Page Setup and make sure the paper is formatted for your printer and the paper size is US letter size. Set scaling to Do Not Scale. Set the artboard range to 1 because we want to print the back and front individually. Go into setup and make sure that the media type is photo glossy. This is the recommended setting by Avery for this particular pack of business cards. Make sure the quality is set to best. Now all you have to do is print. Repeat the same steps for the back. We're done! You've officially designed your own business cards. Now hand them out to everyone you know and show off your work. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Good luck.